Okay, so I want to walk you through how to make this delicious cheddar cheese and bacon soup. I actually found out about this at Le Cellier in Disney World at Epcot. It's fantastic. It's Canadian cheese and this is going to blow your mind, okay? This is 100% keto, keto friendly, very low carb, and it is actually delicious. So let's walk you through some of the ingredients. So right here, you got about a quarter pound of bacon, about a half an onion. You got to watch the carbs on that. So about a half an onion and about two to three uh, stalks of celery all cut up, okay? So what we're gonna do, okay, so, while you put that in there, you gotta get some butter. So you're gonna put in about two to three tablespoons of butter. I like Kerrygold, but use whatever your favorite butter is. One, two, a little bit more. That makes it three. Okay. So you're gonna let that cook for a few minutes and we'll come back when everything is nice and brown. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna add, we're gonna add chicken bone broth. You can use any type of chicken broth you like. I like this kind. To me, I've tried a whole bunch of different kinds. This one for me tastes the best. So we just add, it's about eight ounces. You add it right in there. And at this point, you're gonna lower your heat. You're gonna make sure that we're at a low setting. At this point, we're gonna cook it low and slow. Right now, you can take a look and you can see the sauce is really starting to simmer and it's starting to really thicken up. So this is the point where you're gonna add anywhere between a quarter to a third of a cup of heavy whipping cream. So, here we go. And this is gonna give it that really nice creamy texture. All right, now that it's all simmered, now it's time to add the cheese. So this right here, this is 1,000 day old Canadian cheddar cheese. So you take a look and it's been aged over a thousand days. This is some tangy ass cheese, really, really good. Now, this is really important. You can't mess this up. Don't put all the cheese in all at once. You're gonna put it in at a small handful at a time. So you take it, make sure your flame is nice and low. I'm just gonna keep it in low like that, all right? And once you put in one little handful, a little bit more. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna make sure that it's all nice and stirred together, all right? And you're gonna wait for that to melt a little bit, maybe a minute, give it a minute. And then you can add some more cheese and you keep doing that. You keep layering it. Okay. And by the way, this is about eight ounces of cheese. So whatever cheese you end up using, just make sure it's eight ounces. And you're just gonna let all of that melt on low heat, and we're just gonna let all those flavors mix together. All right, as soon as you pour it, you're gonna want it, let it sit for maybe two to three minutes. Just really let all those flavors congeal together. Sharp cheddar on top. Now it is time to try it. Let's get a little bit of that cheese in there. This looks so good. Oh. Listen to me. You guys gotta try this. All right. It's delicious, super creamy, and it's zero, I don't wanna say zero carbs, but very low carbs. And it is absolutely fantastic. All those different flavors mixing in there. I'm gonna put the recipe below. I'm also gonna put it on my Instagram. So check that out. I'll put my Instagram there, all right? Check out my Instagram and go ahead and subscribe here. And listen, take care of yourself and I will see you next time.